This is Jonathan, my son. When he was two and a half years old, he was diagnosed with autism. And one of his major problems was that he was very selective in his food intake. He ate only pancakes for a whole year. Now, it became pretty obvious to us that this is a common problem. 80% of all children with autism have some kind of eating problem as a part of their diagnosis. But, I say but, because 22.5% of all children have eating challenge at some age of development. 22.5%. And 3% so severe that they actually have their own diagnosed category. That leads up to 86 million potential users. So where do we find the help for these children today? Where do we find the appetite for these children today? Do we find them in books? Yeah, you can read books. Do we find them in the healthcare that children often associate with cold instruments and needles? Well, we did not find it there. Jonathan and I, we cracked the code with our storytelling approach. Now we have made an app. The app is used serious gaming and it takes the solution right home to your own family dinner table in your warm environment. How about that? This is how it works. As I said, we use the uh, uh, serious gaming. It says place your plate here. I already prepared that. And now I'm going to take a picture of food. Now, of course, I don't have the right food with me. So I'm going to use my little. That's OK. I'm going to take a picture of that food. And then I'm going to put it down here. There you go. Now, as a parent, I can choose how much I want the child to eat. In this case, I want him to eat. 25% of the food because I have given him a lot of food. If I put cucumber in there, he may not eat it, but after 14, 15 times, he may eat it. So I always want to offer him that. Now the child has a chance to see who Pau is. It's a little infomercial about where Pau lives, the superhero, and his friends that he helps out. Now I'm going to fast forward this part. So I'm just going to press this button here. Now it's time for the child to choose an adventure. Together with Pau, he's going to do this heroic adventure in a fantasy world. In this case, we're going to use cats. That has a little problem with their airplane they're going, and Pau really wants to help out. But the problem is, he is low on battery. The power is not there. The child needs to eat. What happens now is that you come right to the plate where the food is, and the child actually erases the food that they eat on the plate. So if they eat a meatball, they erase the meatball, and green bubbles fly up to the battery and fill up the power. The, solu the, the problem may be serious, but the solution does not have to be serious. And you there much, you go. Bjorn, your Thank time you. is out. Thank you. Thank you. I know that Pau can do many fun things. Yep. If he's eaten too much or she has eaten too much, he fart. or she can fart. And that's a big joy for the kids. <laughs> uh, one question from the panel. Just curious about the age for the children using this one. Uh, Apple uh, don't allow us to say ages between two. We need four years old, but we have clients who use it when they're like two, two and a half years old, uh, as soon as they start using the iPad, up to seven years old. And uh, does it work for these parents? I'm do, sorry? Do the, do the children eat food using this? They What's eat. the outcome? Yeah, 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 it works. We had a lot of attention, uh, uh, a lot of uh, press and, and so on, and a lot of kids eating, yeah. 3,000 downloads today. Thank oh, you. There's Sorry, a quick one. Yeah, quick follow-up question on that. But could you get a? Do you have a few numbers on on the effectiveness of the app? So you know, in in general or overall average, how much is actually being improved? 
clinical study. So uh, we'll have that data in, in six months. Right now, uh, we've been using, uh, looking more at customer satisfaction, and there we see 80, 85% of the users would recommend this to others. They have tremendous testimonials for happy parents. And your own son, he started eating other food but pancakes as well. That's so true. there is a 100% happy father. <laughs> yes, I am.